This is a video we all have been waiting for. It's about a topic everyone is looking for and searching on the internet voice messages in Slack. It's a workaround. As you know, I'm a big fan of voice messages and some people say like, oh, they are so nasty. This is like podcasting to each other. But I think it's so good if you're on the go and you want to also transport emotions with your message and you don't have to call someone, you can do it anytime. So you bring together asynchronous and synchronous in one thing. This is why I'm heavily using WhatsApp, of course. And in Microsoft Teams, as you know, I made several videos about that I'm getting a bigger and bigger fan of Microsoft Teams, you can send voice messages, but in Slack, you can't. Stuart, if you hear that, this is a big pain in the ass. I don't know if you don't like voice messages or what's wrong with it, but this is the workaround I am using for that. And my team said, oh, we need to make a video of that because people are not aware. I would say it's an easy workaround, but I love it. You just open the memo tool on your phone. Most of the phones have that and you record the voice message, which most likely will stop now the video on my phone now, the screen record, but whatever. You save it, you give it a name or category. Since I make notes quite often on the phone with voice, I have a lot of different channels where I store the stuff in, which is good for myself anyway, so I can go back to that, for example, to content. Save that. I give it a name because I like to store things. And then I just take it and share it to Slack, let's say to the Good News channel. And I can add a note to the voice message, with, with, which is also quite nice because then it's not a big surprise. Surprise, surprise. And send it. That's pretty much it. And as you can see, it's directly uploaded now in Slack and you can listen to it and you can open it. It's a bit... And you record the voice message, which most likely will stop now the video on my phone now, the screen record, but it's okay. This is the workaround I'm using. Is it actually working on the iPhone as well? That's a good question. Who has an iPhone? What's it called? Sprachmemos. Sprachmemos. Ah, we are in Germany. We have the Sprachmemos. So this is the German test for Sprachmemo. And, huh? Oh, this is too French. I saw a video of Karl Lagerfeld last night, so maybe that's why. Okay. And now I take this and I share it to Slack. Good news, not foot news, but good news. Since the screen record is running here, if Yannick's, me Yannick's message is here now, here we are. <sighs> Definitely the wrong message that I sent, but uh, I can delete it right away. The point is made. So this is the workaround and um, I know many people don't like voice messages but there is another video I made about WhatsApp and voice messages. I link it here. So listen to that, look at that because there are good reasons why you should use voice messages. So this is our workaround in Slack. We still stick to Slack as a tool because there are some features that we don't like in Microsoft Teams. True? This is the Teams Pro back there. Watch his video about Microsoft Teams. We will link it here as well. And now, have a great week and we see you guys next week. And don't forget to watch another video here and subscribe here because we love what we do and we love it even more if you guys watch what we do. Thank you.